The Russian authorities must help airlines finance the conversion of Sukhoi Superjet 100 passenger aircraft from Russian French Sam 146 engines to domestic PD-8 engines. Anton Alakanov, the director of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation, stated these facts at the Russian Industrialist Forum. He stated that airlines, as responsible purchasers of aircraft with foreign engines, expected that the equipment would be operational for an extended period. Therefore, they require state assistance in the process of replacing power plants. Significant modifications to the aircraft are necessary to install the domestic PD-8 engine in place of the SAM-146. This is a result of the necessity to modify the airframe structure to accommodate the engine's new technical specifications. According to Rostec's press service, a comprehensive analysis is necessary to determine the economic feasibility of re-engining and the preparedness of airlines to allocate funds for comprehensive work. Specialists from the United Aircraft Corporation and United Engine Corporation, both of which are subsidiaries of Rostec, possess the requisite expertise and capabilities to execute this undertaking. The re-engining procedure is a multifaceted set of technical actions that necessitate substantial financial investments rather than a simple engine replacement. These actions are all related to the re-equipping of airplanes. Because of the strategic significance of the import substitution program in civil aviation, it is appropriate for the state to provide compensation for a portion of these expenses. The PD-8 engine was created using the knowledge acquired from the development of the PD-14 engine, which is presently employed in the MC-21 medium-haul aircraft. The Ministry of Industry and Trade anticipates that the certification of the PD-8 engine on the Superjet 100 aircraft will be finalized by the end of 2025 the PD-8 was delivered for flight tests on the Superjet 100 at the beginning of 2025, and this stage is proceeding as anticipated. Dmitry Yadrov, the head of the Federal Air Transport Agency, also verified that the issue of re-engining Superjet aircraft from SAM-146 to PD-8 is currently being considered. The domestic engine's mass deployment in airline fleets will be feasible following the conclusion of all certification procedures. Anton Alikhanov emphasized that the issue of financial culpability for the re-engining is contentious and necessitates a balanced approach. Maintaining SAM 146's standard access to service support would lessen the pressing need for replacement. However, the current geopolitical environment restricts the operation of aircraft with foreign engines. In 2026, the Ministry of Industry and Trade intends to provide funding for a portion of the research and technical work necessary to convert the Superjet 100 aircraft to the PD-8. This will be a component of state support that is intended to preserve and develop the Russian airline fleet as well as to support domestic aircraft manufacturing. The engine replacement necessitates the modernization of aircraft, which includes the remodeling of mounting structures, control systems, and other aircraft components, according to Rostec experts. These changes may impact the operational characteristics, and the engineering development process should establish the timelines and costs. The economic feasibility of this transformation is evaluated in light of the potential to reduce dependence on foreign components, as well as to enhance the reliability of supplies and maintenance. Airlines must be prepared to allocate their funds for significant restorations and modernization. However, this task is exceedingly challenging in the absence of state support due to budget constraints and sanction challenges. The Import Substitution Program which is designed to decrease the Russian aviation industry's reliance on foreign supplies and technologies, includes the re-engining project as an important phase. The technological sovereignty and security of civil aviation are enhanced by using the PD-8 engine, which was developed and manufactured in Russia. Additionally, the experience of replacing engines on the Superjet 100 will create new opportunities 
to expand the use of PD-8 engines on other domestically produced aircraft, such as amphibious aircraft like the Bereave B-200 and engine power plants for large transport helicopters. It is expected that the demand for PD-8 engines, which are required for the re-engineering of the current Sukhoi Superjet 100 fleet, will increase significantly in the future as Russia replaces the French, Russian SM-146 engines. The initial industrial-scale manufacturing of PD-8 engines is anticipated to commence in 2025. The first four serially produced units will be primarily used for experimental certifications and integration on the Superjet 100 and amphibious aircraft such as the Bereave B-200. The production capacity is expected to increase considerably by 2026, with a goal of producing approximately 30 engines annually, subject to the completion of certification and the development of the delivery pipeline. This expansion is consistent with the needs of domestic airlines, aircraft manufacturers, and institutional users, such as government entities that operate specialized aircraft. The re-engineered Superjet 100 fleet and new production models directly correlate with the overall market potential for PD-8 engines. According to projections, there is a potential global market for approximately 800 aircraft, with approximately 250 to 300 aircraft expected to operate in Russia and other CIS countries, with the PD-8 engine being specifically installed. The number of PD-8 engines required for the re-engining program will be approximately double the number of aircraft undergoing retrofitting, as each Superjet 100 requires two engines. A demand for approximately 540 engines is generated solely for the purpose of re-engining current fleets, as estimates suggest that up to 270 Superjet 100 aircraft could be modernized or produced with PD-8 engines in the medium term. This number excludes new production and other applications, such as helicopters and amphibious aircraft. Consequently, the production of PD-8 engines will need to expand significantly beyond the initial limited yearly outputs. It is anticipated that the production will reach or exceed over 100 units annually by the late 2020s to satisfy the combined demand for re-engining current Superjet 100 aircraft and supporting new builds and other platforms. Russia is preparing for a gradual increase in the production of PD-8 engines, with a modest start of approximately 30 engines per year in 2026. The industry is expanding to accommodate the anticipated demand for several hundred engines for the re-engining of Superjet 100s, as well as future new production aircraft and related aviation platforms by the end of the decade. The PD-8 engines testing and certification in the Superjet 100 are advancing at a brisk pace, with the assistance of additional aircraft to expedite the process. The aviation engine and aircraft industry community is ready to integrate updated models featuring domestic engines. Thus, the re-engineering of the Superjet 100 from SAM-146 to PD-8 not only resolves the current challenges associated with operating aircraft with restricted access to French SAM-146 engines, but also creates opportunities for the further development of Russian engine manufacturing and import substitution in the aviation sector. The successful transition to new engines and the sustainable development of the Russian civil aviation industry in the coming years will be contingent upon state support in financing and the advancement of certification and technical processes. These measures will assist in the preservation of the Superjet 100 fleet, the support of airlines, and the strengthening of Russia's position in the global aviation industry. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us